So on TikTok, I am reading from the book entitled Called Out, 100 Devotions for LGBTQ Christians by Reverend Dr. E. Carrington Heath. In addition, during the live, I give a short reflection, just expanding on the devotion. I will not read from the devotion for TikTok videos for copyright reasons, but I will share the reflection part that I wrote. So today's devotional focuses on Exodus chapter 14, verse 11. Reverend Dr. Carrington Heath explains how we, like the ancient Israelites who were escaping Egypt, often stand trapped between two opposing forces wondering what to do. The Israelites were trapped between the Dead Sea and the Egyptians, and understandably, they were pretty angry at Moses and God for leading them there with no seeming way out. But God tells them to go, and God parts the sea. What I especially appreciate about this devotion is that uh, Reverend Dr. Carrington Heath tells a story from the rabbinical tradition of, and I'm going to butcher this, but Nashon, an Israelite who sticks his foot in the water, then his leg, then his torso, then his neck, and keeps going until the water is up to his nose. And it was only then that God parted the water. In this rendition of the Exodus story, someone had to take the first step and go in, trusting that God would do what they said they would. In a similar way, many of us face oppressive forces. And I want to be clear, I do not want to minimize the threats and pain of these institutional forces that we face. Be it transphobia and queerphobia, sexism, racism, ableism, etc. These are all very real forces, and I would never tell people how they should react to these forces that keep them down. And for me, a central component of Christianity is the idea of a God who journeys with us, a God who knows what pain and suffering is like, and that knowledge can help us move forward. The reality is that injustices and suffering have always been around, and though I do believe in a God who will eventually make things right, in the meantime, injustice will continue. But God doesn't just tell us to throw up our hands in exasperation and think, oh well, nothing we can do. Instead, God calls us to do what we can do, even if it's something small, to advocate for a more just and better world. Whether we can do big actions or small, God asks us to read in. God is faithful. God meets us where we are at. All we need to do is take the first small and faithful step.